line 16, half full or half empty. This is a duet and introduces us to something called half notes. Half notes are very simply put, half a whole note. So a whole note gets four, a half note gets two beats. Once we learn to play half notes, we've got all the ingredients ready that we need to learn how to play songs that we'll recognize. So this is a good line for us to work on to get us ready for recognizable songs. Of course, the first step in learning a line is to clap and count, especially with a new rhythm like a half note. Let's clap and count together. One, two, ready, go. One, three, one, line since the rhythm is new this is a good line for us to practice just the articulation and rhythm so what we'll do is we'll play the line but we're going to play it on just one note we're going to pretend that every note in line 16a is an F and that will give us a chance to focus on the rhythm and the timing of our tongue so line 16a playing it on F one two ready <laughs> So practicing a line where you just play the note or the rhythm on F is a good way to get your timing practiced and to practice the articulation or tonguing. Well, the next step would be to name the notes and finger. One, two, ready, here we go. E flat, E flat, F, F, D, E flat, E flat F E flat E flat D F E flat D E flat Hopefully you can name the notes in time with the metronome but if you can't then take your time with it as you practice naming the notes and just take as long as you need to but naming your notes is a really important skill that you want to develop All right I'm going to play it you should fog and finger it. One, two, ready. <sighs> That was 16A. Now, as we look at 16B, we'll notice that this, that the that both these lines have the same rhythm. So we don't need to practice the counting and the clapping again because the rhythm's the same. We do need to, however, look at the fact that there are different notes. So let's name and finger these notes in 16B. One, two, ready, go. E flat, E flat, D. D, B flat, E flat, E flat, D, C, C, B flat, D, E flat, B flat, E flat. 
16B looks a little easier in some ways because it goes lower, but of course you probably noticed the last measure has a pretty big jump from E flat down to B flat back up to E flat, and that's a challenge uh, at first. With a little bit of practice, you'll solve that problem and sound good on it. All right, time for me to play Unifog. One, two, ready. <laughs> That's line 16A. 